Hello, in this video we're slowly building the Executive Pro theme by Studio Press. And in this particular video, we're going to add this call to action banner. I've made several other videos showing you how to do the other bits of the page. And this one, all we're going to do is add this call to action banner. Now, adding the banner is easy. All we need to do is go to our dashboard, appearance, widgets, and we need to drag a text widget into this home call to action widget area. So we're in appearance, widgets, home call to action, widget area, and we need a text widget. So we drag that in there, oh, just so you can see it there, in the home call to action, the text widget in the home call to action. And now we need to type in there, call to action, or anything else you want, just type whatever you want in there. Now, on the WordPress, on this Studio Press site, it's got a button and the page is divided into two pieces. A button at one side, text at the other. Now, you can get this code straight from the Studio Press site. I'll put a link, when I, um, when I put this video on YouTube, I'll put a link underneath the video to a web page uh, where you can, there'll be a link to that, uh, that code there. So all we need to do now, paste the code in, in our text widget and I'll just explain what the code does. I'll just save that. We want to click automatically add paragraphs and click save. And I'll show you what it does. Basically, this is a column class which splits your page into two, or splits that widget area into two. So it's got three quarters and the other one is one quarter. And then you just type some text in here. That's first, whenever you're using the column classes, the first one of these divs has got to have first, it's got to have three fourths or whatever and then first only for the first one and then you put your text in there and close the div but I'm going to add a link to this code so it's easy for you to find if you look underneath this video on YouTube there'll be a link to a page and that you'll be able to find it um, now in this bit here you've got a class button and but this bit where it says href with the hash sign there you need to put in a, a URL there so all we need to do is decide which page we want to link to. So let's pretend we were linking to the content sidebar page. Or maybe this one here, this threaded post with sample, uh, sample post with threaded comment. You just copy the URL, select it all, control copy, and then in this bit here, you would paste it in there. href, make sure you don't delete those little um, quote marks. You might not be able to see it on this one, but that's where I'm going to put it. Let's have a look in there, href. Just paste the link in there, click save. I'm not sure if I'll be able to zoom in enough for you to see. Ah, yeah, should be okay. So it comes after href equals, and then you've got two little quotes there. It's between the quote marks. You've got opening quotes, Closing quotes and type, just paste your URL in there. Then click save and we'll go back and see what it looks like. So we'll go back to the home page and now we've got this. Well, thanks for watching and bye for now.